Hey everybody, welcome back to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to stroke it. Really? Nah, I'm just going to show you how to use stroked in a more advanced way. And there's different types, so I'm going to go over right now how to show you how to use stroke better and use it like a pro. So the first thing I want to show you is that up here in the options panel if you click on this drop down menu in the character panel there's a section called line join and there's different types of stroke right here so if I select this actually I don't think I have to select it we'll just try it real quick and I select miter yep I gotta select it so you gotta select your text come down to line join if I select miter look at the type look at the edges of the stroke like just focus on maybe this corner of the S where my mouse is you can see that it's now squared off and uh, that's what miter does it's gonna be probably defaulted at miter for you guys if you've never changed it before now if we go to round it changes it to, to a round rounded off edge there we go now if I go to bevel now you're gonna get an extra cut in your edge and it's gonna be more beveled oops so put that back in the middle there so I'm just gonna bevel all these for you quick so you can see what it looks like all together when I join bevel and as you can see I can add different uh, bevels or uh, different stroke styles to different uh, parts of the text. So this one I could make uh, miter if I wanted to, and then this one I could make round if I wanted to. So you're not stuck with just doing on every the same one on every text. However, usually you want to stick with just one type if you want to look professional. I don't see too many uh, bevels going on, but there there might be uses for it. Like maybe if you're writing out the, like the word diamond, and uh, diamonds have nice cuts on them like that, so use the bevel fill on that one. The next thing I want to go over are the uh, stroke styles here, and I didn't go over them a lot in the intro, but now I'm going to show you what the uh, different uses are. So if I have this text here, and maybe I want to push everything closer together something like this now it's originally going to be on fill over stroke and this is what it's going to look like now the fill uh, this the fill and the stroke interact like this here where you can see it goes over top and when you're like ah, fill over stroke it means like the next letter in line is going to be over top of the next letter so you can see the uh, stroke lines inside the next text for the the letter that is to the right so let me select it again and now we're gonna go to all fills over all strokes and let me bring it in even more so I can illustrate this even more there we go now you can see that when the uh, letters uh, connect here, the there isn't any more uh, stroke lines, unless you're not all the way connected in, like right here in between these two lines. But it just goes over all around the outside where everything is connected. So that's uh, a reason you might want to use the uh, all fills over all strokes. It works good with uh, like chunky letters and stuff like that. So here's fill over stroke. And here is a stroke overfill. It's going to look like crap. And um, here is all strokes over all fills. It looks like even more crap. So all strokes over all fills, it, the, uh, you, as you can see, the S goes into the, um, into the A. It's just going to show every single part of the stroke. So let's go back to what looks good. This one looks pretty good. 
You can also access your stroke op some of your stroke options from the uh, more text options. So if I click on my text in my text layer, twirl down, there is a section called more options. Twirl that down, which mine was already twirled down. And now we've got the uh, fill in stroke here. It, we've got per character, palette, all strokes, all fills over all strokes, and all strokes over all fills. Now, no, normally you want to uh, leave this at per character because uh, these op uh, these options here, they they override the uh, fill and stroke properties of the individual characters. So if I come down here, now if you want them to interact individually, you want this per character palette. So, and the individual ones are these two right here.